Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Um, this is the series Encounter with the Jupiterians channeled by Alice B. Claggett. Um, this, the 16th video in the series, is entitled Music that Represents the World View of the Jupiterian Subterranean Beings. Just as an aside regarding that title, you may recall that the Jupiterian subterranean beings of Earth are the fungi. That's what the biologists call them. And my proposal is that they migrated here from our planet Jupiter long ages ago. Here's the talk. The record group Transcending Obscurity has a 2017 musical album, Terraforming, that I found on YouTube. There's a song called Matriarch on that album that I found on YouTube. The title of the video is quite long. It goes like this. Jupiterian and in parentheses, Brazil, matriarch, and in parentheses, atmospheric sludge, forward slash, doom metal. Then, Transcending Obscurity Records HD. The author is Transcending Obscurity, and the date is 13 September. 2017. I hope you can find it. It's, it's really incredible. The word Jupiterian in the YouTube title is described as a Brazilian underground masked entity, which to me points to the fungi of Brazil. I consider the fungi of Earth to be Jupiterians, which is to say colonists from the planet Jupiter in our solar system with a bow to synchronicity I feel the term Jupiterian might also be the name of the band that plays the song I have drawn a rough sketch of an emblem on the artwork for the album I drew the sketch so that my reader could get an idea of the meaning of the original artwork, which I feel must be copyrighted. The best thing would be to take a look at the original artwork referenced in the video information I just gave you. In the emblem is a circle with a human-like eye near the center. The iris of the eye has two connected dark, oblong objects in it, rather than a human-like pupil. I feel these might represent fungal spores. As I feel the Jupiterians are the ancestors of Earth's Jupiterian subterranean beings, which we humans term fungi. On the psychic plane, which is always iffy, I heard what seemed to be the artist, who seemed to me to be a young man, say that he felt the eye represents the vast telepathic ability of the Jupiterians, and that they thought in a way similar to caterpillars, which I guess meant that their telepathy seemed to creep along. It seemed to me the artist said that he had made the pupil of the iris of the eye look like a caterpillar because it seemed to him that was the way the Jupiterians thought. You have then this alternate meaning of the odd shape of the pupil of the eye. In the emblem, the eye is pierced by the symbol for the planet Mars combined with its mirror image. That is here. This is a symbol for the planet Mars here. 
combined with its mirror image over here. In the circle are what looked to me to be snake-like hi-fi twining about. This, these snake-like um, pictures here seem to be my, the mycelium or the filaments or the hi-fi in a fungal network. To me, this emblem clearly represents the culture or social memory complex of the Jupiterians of Earth. So that's the emblem. The songs on the album Terraforming by Jupiterian are Matriarch, Unearthly Glow, Forefathers, Terraforming, Us and Them, and Soul, meaning Sun, available on Amazon. Some of these other songs are also on YouTube. I advise the reader first to listen to the song Matriarch and, if possible, the entire album Terraforming. Here is what I arrived at through listening to the music. I feel this musical group is offering the perspective of the Jupiterian culture on Earth. I feel also resonance among these, the overlords of the reptilian star races, those are the reptiles, amphibians, and fish of Earth, which have a parietal eye, and the Martian colonists of Earth, both free-swimming Martians and those colonizing the mammalian gastrointestinal tract. I feel that the Martian bacterial colonists, or MBCs, of the human colon may feel a little less resonance with the Jupiterians, the reptilians, and the macro-organisms with a parietal eye than the resonance the latter feel one to the other. That is to say, the Martians may be a little standoffish in regard to these other three, which may relate more together. That I feel to be because of a telepathic resonance between our Martian bacterial colonists and the mental and emotional bodies of their space stations. That would be us humans. In other words, the Martians relate more to us humans than they do to the Jupiterians, the reptilians, and the macro-organisms with a parietal eye, who may be very telepathic, extremely so. Our human post-shift mental and emotional bodies have a unique energy signature because of our multi-temporal and multi-dimensional ascension skills. As to the title Terraforming, I can offer these insights. When Earth formed and when there was proto-life forming in primordial soups on Earth, there was much shifting of tectonic plates and many volcanoes were erupting and the seas of Earth were teeming with the desire to create life. The Jupiterians may have witnessed all this from afar. They might have witnessed Terra, that is Earth, forming. If the Jupiterians sent spores of fungal matter wafting through space, perhaps astride meteors, and these spores landed on Earth and sprouted there, then that new life on Earth might be seen to have been participating in the Terra forming of Earth. That perspective might be true of the Martian culture as well. 
since it has been on Earth for about 3.5 or maybe 4 billion years. In sync with that, when the mammals arose as a form of life on Earth and when Martian bacteria colonized the human gastrointestinal or GI tract and when fungi in a commensal sense not too favorable to humankind interpenetrated and found homes for themselves in the human epithelium that skin and most likely also in the lining of the human colon then those beings might be seen as participating in the mining of nutrients so plentiful in the gastrointestinal tract and epithelium of mammals. You may have heard the stories in lightworker literature of inimical terraforming beings and inimical miners of human minerals and nutrients. In that sense, it could be that the early understanding of light workers with regard to the colonists from Jupiter and Mars might have been less complete than it is today. Um, there are two sides to every story. There's a chance for every type of being uh, to survive and flourish on Earth as part of the all through free will, I feel. And what once seemed to be self-favoring attempts to make use of human beings uh, to their own detriment now are seen to be more of a commensal nature, more of a mutually favorable nature insofar as possible. Um, uh, and less in, in hostile terms, more in terms of interspecies communication and diplomacy, I feel. So I think looking down the road to the future, that's a good way to go about it. We want to be as diplomatically correct as we can towards all sentient life in the galaxy, I feel. And the place to start is within us, within the great kingdom of the human body. We seek balance and harmony and peace and the opportunity for all beings to express themselves, the opportunity for all beings to have plenty to eat, to have a place to live, and to be happy. Of course, as sentient entities ourselves, we humans must look to our own happiness and our own balance and our own harmony within and amongst all those that depend upon us for nutrients. We have a role in this and our role is to to arrive at a good diet, a good regimen of sleep and self-nourishment, self-insight, a chance to work in the world and so forth. So yeah, that makes it clear that there's a limit to the amount of support that we can give to the fungi because too many fungi in the body create a, a state of disease in the body. So we have to allow only that number of each type of microorganism in the body that can be sustained in a commensal sense. That means the elimination of many harmful types of Martians, many harmful types of fungi, and many viruses. So we do our best for the all through free will. We do our best to understand the, the culture, the worldview of all these beings. And we do our best for ourselves as well. It's a difficult balancing act for us human beings. That's my current light worker stance on the, on the issue of the kingdom of the human body. Now I have for you one um, article 
that might be of further use to you. The title is Human Integumentary System from the Perspective of the Elder Race. And I wrote that in 28 December 2019. You can find it on my site, Awakening with Planet Earth. It's my blog site. And uh, just to let you know, the Elder Race is our Martians that, that once lived on planet Mars and still do uh, under extreme conditions and who also live in many environments successfully here on Earth. All right, dear ones, take care. That's all for now. And may you be blessed with peace and happiness in these troubled times.